The amount of plastic that enters the oceans annually is exceeding 8 million tons. That's the weight of approximately 4 trillion plastic grocery bags, which, laid out side by side, would cover the entire territory of Greenland. But there is more to thrown out plastic than just the bags. About 49% of plastic inputs to the ocean are single-use plastic, majority of which consists of food and drink packaging, cutlery and straws, cigarette butts, balloons, and even menstrual products. So why is menstruation so scary? The total number of about 4 billion tampons and pads are thrown out around the globe each day. But we're throwing away more than just sanitary products. Most disposable sanitary pads are 96% plastic. And don't forget about the packaging. An individual pack, coverage for sticky parts, and the overall packaging. So to sum up, a pack of 10 pads contains the same amount of plastic as 4 plastic bags. Even though tampons themselves are mostly made of cotton, 6% of their composition on average is plastic. Each tampon also comes in individual package, and it can also be complemented by an applicator. So even if we recycle the packaging, we're still stuck with worn pads and tampons that can't be recycled after they've been used. So what can we do to change the situation? In some European countries, the amount of plastic bags and bottles ending up in landfills and oceans decreased after taxing the objects. But it's not that easy with menstrual products, as they are a basic necessity. 1 in 10 girls in the world have to skip school on their period days, as they can't afford any kind of menstrual care. And as there are people who do not have the possibility to refuse to use disposable pads or tampons, those of us who have the hygienic settings can choose alternative menstrual products, such as reusable cloth pads or silicone cups. Each one of them can serve up to 10 years and help us save the planet one pad at a time.